We gather today to remember a man of peerless vision who sought to change the world. And change the world he did. Look around. Even now, the British prepare to retreat. Their spirits broken. Their forces splintered. The Patriot leadership shall soon follow. Either into our service or into the ground. And then, my friends, all of this will finally be ours. We have Hatham to thank for this. He and all those others who sacrificed for our cause. But he was not content merely to save the people of America, no. He sought to save those sworn to our destruction. He sought to save the assassins. Aye, it seems a mad thing now. And it cost him his life. The assassins are a cruel and terrible coven. They speak only the language of death. Too late he learned the truth of this. Murdered by his own son. He gave his life as he lived it. In service to a dream we all share. And so we must fight on. We will vanquish our enemies. We will spread our word. And in time, my brothers and sisters, in time, we will have our new world. He sent me away that day at Fort George. He feared for my safety. I should have stayed. He said there was no danger. He was wrong. I will kill you, Connor. This I swear. Not here, though. Not today. No. First... First, I'll destroy all you hold dear. I'll burn that homestead of yours to the ground and roast the seven heads of your precious founding fathers in its flames. And when I've finished with them, all the rest will burn as well. Your merry band of assassins, the human refuse that lives on your land, your village and its people, all of it, gone. You can try, Charles. But as with all your schemes, this too will end in failure. Get him on his feet. He will wait. He will watch. And then, when he's seen all his life's work brought to ruin, only then will I allow him to die. Take him away. Would you... Thank <laughs> you. 
shot on it. Where's Charles Lee gone? The harbor. To catch a ferry. these men meet the requirements. You believe incorrectly. They're sick and weak. We're looking to build an army, not fill an arms house. It will take months to get them into fighting shape. We don't have the time. No, please. We'll do anything you want. Anything. Only take us with you. Quiet, well. Your merchandise is useless to us. Perhaps we should discuss this back in my cabin. As you should be, for us to have come all this way for nothing. Tell me now why I shouldn't have you thrown into the sea. No need to be rash. Only give me a little more time. I'll scour the other ships if I must. I'm certain there are prisoners who will meet your needs. Very well. You have two days. Thank you. Present yourself to the Green Dragon Tavern in Boston with the men you've chosen. We shall meet you there along with our master.
something, darling? No. Oh, rude. Can I help you? You know you can. Pardon? Oh! I do not like having my time wasted. Stop that! Oh, don't, don't make me call the guards! Make a sound and you die. What do you want? He's in the harbor, at the Long Pier, most likely. We heard what happened at the parade. Charles got all nervous, said he was leaving the country. I thought he was overreacting. It's not. No! Thank you. You put us down, we rise again. You end one plot, we forge another. You try so hard, but it always ends the same. Those who know you think you mad, and this is why. Even those men you sought to save have turned their backs on you. Yet you fight. You resist. Why? Because no one else will.
<laughs> Rough night, was it? He headed inland. A ferry up the Charles River. I will need passage as well. Of course. Only say the word. Why would they leave this behind? Ah, uh, long have we waited for you to return. You have done as we asked. 
You have succeeded. No. I have failed. My people are gone. Chased out by those who I thought would protect them. It is a trade. A sacrifice. And not in vain. For you have found it. This? Now you must hide it. Where none shall think to look. And then in time... In time... What once was... Shall be... Again. I do not understand. Nor need you. Only do as we ask. Then... You may do as you wish. But what of my people? You have saved this place. As was your people's purpose. And that matters most. It is not enough. It will never be enough. You strive for that which does not exist. Still, you have made a difference. And you will do so again. Remember, you must hide the amulet where none might find it. I know where the key is. Then let's go!
All right, time to see what's inside. Not quite. We still need to get the place powered up. Find the remaining pedestals and plug in the power sources. I'm on it. sought to face the sun's wrath and contain it. Four towers would be built to pull her fury into this place and dispel it. But even with all we knew, with all we had, it would take too long. A thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done. The first tower was never completed. The project abandoned. We moved on. But while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. We could not meet the sun's cruel embrace. Perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate the fields to protect us in times of strife. But these were small and simple things. To replicate them on a scale the size of a world. We lack the energy to make it so. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. Again, we failed. A quarter, they asked. Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared. But it was time we did not have. So we moved on. find out.
Is it fixed? Immutable? Certain in its existence and only awaiting discovery? Or might it be changed? Here we learned the answer and thought that it might save us. They were used to command, to control, to own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What we imagined became real. If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, what might a thousand do? Ten thousand? More? Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. In this way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward, but there was no way to maintain control, to direct the beam, to enthrall the world, to speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. find a way but forward we could look forward and so here we sought to see beyond ourselves and know what was to come first we wanted to learn if our work would succeed but the answer was always the same so we moved on to other things but she remained the one you call Minerva in time, she too stopped looking, and instead began to speak. She called out across time, in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. Tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want! But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on, and then... It failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful.
telling you there's something down here. Don't be daft. I don't know. Maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics or hibernation. I mean, how do we know what the hell they were doing down here? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked. It just went from one to the next, and then... I don't know. They must have left at some point. After the end. I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them. But not for you. Sealed. To protect it. Though now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell. Flesh and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice. Not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband. My love. In the end, it changed him. Ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release. For days. For weeks. For months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for, for him. him. Not, Not for, for us. us. series of electrical impulses and the body a vessel to hold these sparks but it is weak in time it decays and crumbles to dust we asked ourselves then what if it might be replaced with something stronger something better so we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though. Were they right to turn away? <laughs> 